This is ITV, where Edmonton's news comes first. It's election night, Monday, October the 16th. Tonight's top story, a tight race for the mayor's chair. Bill Smith and Jan Reimer battle it out. Then, the international airport sails to a referendum victory. And a narrow margin for Keeler Road. Now, ITV News at 10. Good evening and welcome to a special election night edition of ITV News at 10. Let's get right to it. Here are the results you've been waiting for. It has been a very close race for the mayor's chair, but Bill Smith has been out in front for most of the night. There was nothing close about the airport race. The municipal airport will be closed to schedule passenger service. And Keeler Road will be closed. It was a close margin, but it looks like the bicycle trail wins out over the commuter shortcut. Now we'll get to results from surrounding communities, from school board races, and from the aldermanic races in a few minutes. Now, for those of you who haven't been with us for our election updates uh, earlier, Earlier this evening, we want to spend a moment to explain how we're bringing this information to you. So here's the format we're going to use for most of the results. You'll see the city or town and the elected position. At the top right, you'll see the number of candidates to be elected. Now for most races, that's one. But in the case of Edmonton Alderman, for example, the top two candidates win. Now just below that number, you'll see the number of polls reporting and the total number of polls. And ranked from first to worst, you'll see the candidate names, the number of votes they've received, and the percentage of total votes. And the asterisk you see there means incumbent, and the check mark designates candidates who have been elected by the ITV decision desk. Now, tracking the results for us tonight is ITV's Ross McLaughlin, and he's working right next to us on the decision desk. We've also got 11 camera crews on the streets of Edmonton and the surrounding areas. Right now you're seeing, we hope to show you some live pictures from Bill Smith's headquarters in downtown Edmonton. We will take you there and to dozens of other locations as we bring you Edmonton's most comprehensive election coverage. And now let's uh, listen in to what Bill Smith has to say. I'd like to be up there too, but I think it's a little early yet. Uh, okay. So perhaps when we see the next results come in, it'll uh, will be a little bit better. All right then. All we can tell our so Bill Smith at this stage of the game is uh, cautiously optimistic you might say he is ahead by a few thousand votes and his supporters are convinced that they are standing in the camp of the new mayor of Edmonton at this stage he feels it is too early to call he doesn't want to go out on a limb until all the results are final uh, should anything change in the last uh, few polls to come in but at this stage of the game uh, as far as he's concerned too tight to call although he does appear to have a lead we're in a real crush here so we'll throw it back to the anchor desk. All right, thanks very much, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. Jerry Velico live from Bill Smith's uh, headquarters, and we will be going back to Jerry in just a few moments. As you saw just a, a moment ago, quite a tight race here between Bill Smith and Mayor Jan Reimer. The question now is, by how big a margin? Well, let's take our first detailed look at the results with Ross McLaughlin. Ross, what do you have for us? Well, Jacqueline, as we mentioned earlier, it is a very tight race between Bill Smith and Jan Reimer. Let's run down the results right now, beginning with our mayoral race. And taking a look at our results, Bill Smith is in the lead, 59,000 to 5,500. He's got a fairly close race going there. And look at that. Brad Chicknita is ahead of Lance White. The Earl's waiter is uh, doing better than uh, an MLA liberal. Uh, let's take a look at Ward 1 now. We've elected Leroy Cholley and Wendy Kinsella in Ward 1, who knocked out incumbent Bruce Campbell. Taking a look at Ward 2, Alan Bullstad has been elected by the ITV Decision Desk. Rose Rosenberger replaces uh, Ron Hader, who did not run this time around. In Ward 3, we've got Brian Mason elected, and Robert Nochi has been elected. Now, he's knocked out incumbent Sherry McKibben. In Ward 4, it's a very interesting race there with 17 candidates. Jim Taylor has been elected by the ITV Decision Desk. Brian Bechtel is coming in next with 14%, but it's still a close race between him and Terrence Harding. And incumbent Michael Fair and Tucker Gomber bringing up the rear. In Ward 5, Larry Langley and Brent Mates in a very tight race there. But it's not over yet for Lillian Starozik, the incumbent in that ward. In Ward 6, the ITV Decision Desk has declared elected Terry Cavanaugh and Dick Mather, a former school trustee. And, of course, Sheila McKay is out of the race there. Now, taking a look at the airport referendum, uh, just an astonishing turnout on, on the uh, yes side for this tonight. The yes side is definitely a go-ahead for consolidation of the International Airport and uh, some of the strongest wards in, uh, in that were obviously the South Side Ward 5 and 6. But all of the city, in fact, voted very strongly in favor of the yes side. And, of course, the Keeler referendum, we talked about this earlier, uh, Keeler Road. 
will uh, remain closed, according to the citizens of Edmonton. They've spoken out. 56% say keep the road closed. And our key live locations tonight are going to be brought to you by uh, Gordon Jacklin. Uh, ITV's Pat Crosskopf is uh, live, and uh, Gordon Jacklin. All right, thank you very much, Ross. Actually, we've been down to Bill Smith's headquarters. Right now, let's take a little trip and go down to uh, Jan Reimer. I believe Linda Steele is standing by down there right now. Linda. Hi there. There's a lot of people here right now, a lot of people waiting for the mayor to arrive. She was supposed to be here between 9.30 and 10. She's a lot slower than we expected. They say she's not even on her way yet. A lot of disappointed people here. In fact, it was about quarter after 9 today, tonight rather, when her campaign manager said, hey, it's over, we lost. They weren't even putting new numbers up on the board because they said it was just too depressing. In fact, uh, her campaign manager said that it was just too, too, too many votes for Bill Smith. It was too tough, to, uh, too much of an obstacle get, to get over. He was very shocked and disappointed. In fact, they thought that John Ramsey was really picking up a lot of steam in the last week of the campaign. They were very surprised, in fact, that the tide turned toward Bill Smith. Uh, what happened? Well, they're saying that obviously uh, the right-wing business group got the vote out and the people who love Jan Reimer uh, just didn't come out to vote for some reason tonight. An awful lot of disappointed people here tonight. They didn't want to believe it, but I mean, when the campaign manager says the race is over, I guess the race is over. Okay, thanks very much, Linda. We'll check in with you again a little later on. Well, a disappointing defeat tonight for supporters of the municipal airport. Bonnie Fox is covering that story at the Chateau Louis Hotel. Bonnie? Well, Gordon Jacklin, a fairly quiet night here at the Muni campaign headquarters. Uh, news of the vote came in early and uh, didn't take long for people to start uh, talking about what they were going to do about this tomorrow. Richard Kovlin, who has been president of uh, Air Services for Tomorrow, says he's going to wait to see what the new council does with the old bylaw, bylaw 10205. He says that he doesn't believe that everyone who has voted tonight understands that they have not voted on a bylaw and, in fact, the bylaw that was voted on back in 1992 has to be rescinded. So he's going to be watching that process very carefully. And uh, if all goes as planned and uh, negotiations to transfer scheduled air passenger traffic to the international go well, that'll happen effective April 1st, 1996. Never has so much money been spent on propagandizing the voter of this city. I mean, there's never been an issue in the history of this city in which about $500,000 has been spent to convince voters to vote one particular way. So it's been effective. The propaganda has been effective. All right, that was Bonnie Fox. And let's head back to our decision desk with Ross McLaughlin. We'll get some results here from uh, outside of Edmonton. Our ITV uh, team is keeping together uh, the, the results as they're coming in from the rural areas now. Let's take a look at some of the areas around our city tonight, see some clear winners and some clear losers. In St. Albert, Anita Richinski has been re-elected as mayor of St. Albert. In Strathcona County, it's the first time they've elected a mayor there, and Vern Hartwell has a strong showing there tonight, but we haven't declared a winner in, that, uh, in Strathcona County just yet. And in Leduc, there's been an upset there. Morris Fitzpatrick, the former mayor, has been knocked out. As you can see, he's trailing. And John Jackie, a former alderman in that uh, city, is now, looks like John Jackie is going to be the mayor of Leduc tonight. In Fort Saskatchewan, Ken Hodgins is uh, leading, and uh, it looks like he's going to be the clear winner for the mayor's chair tonight, although we haven't declared him elected just yet. And in Devon, we are not getting any polls reporting this just yet in Devon. We will be up to date on that. Let's take a look at some of the uh, school races right now. In the public uh, or Grand Prairie, before we move on, uh, Mayor Gordon Graydon has been re-elected in Grand Prairie. Now, taking a look at the public schools. In Ward A, it's Bill Bonko. In Ward B, Janice Melanchuk has been declared elected. Don Williams is declared elected in Ward C. Terry Sumia is uh, declared elected in Ward D. And in Ward E in the public school race, it's Gene Woodrow. Don Fleming has been declared elected in Ward F. In Ward G, we have not declared a winner there just yet. Kate Chernowski is in the lead. And Ward H, George Nicholson by acclamation. And Ward 1, Edmondson Public Board, Jerry Gibault. Ward, I'm sorry, Ward I. It should be as Jerry Jabot in, uh, of course, they just switched to nine different wards in the city with the public school board race tonight, so it is a bit different for us. Let's go back now to our live uh, anchor desk. All right, thanks very much, Ross. Thanks. Well, certainly a, a night of upset so I'll far. Say. And uh, veteran uh, Alderman Bruce Campbell goes down to defeat uh, in war Ward 1. I uh, have conceded that uh, Wendy is ahead of me, 
uh, that Leroy has the most votes in Ward 1, and I wish Wendy well. I have said, I said before, and I, I say it again, that uh, if you're not prepared to lose when you get into a competition, I've been in competition all my life. And the construction business is one of the more competitive businesses in the world. And if you're not prepared to lose, don't get into it. And I was prepared to lose. I'm not, I'm not happy about it, no. I'm disappointed, I'll be disappointed for about a, about a day. All right, you know, it was kind of interesting that Bruce mm -hmm. Campbell was considering uh, a possible run for mayor. Well, it seems that incumbent Terry Kavanaugh is uh, comfortably uh, sitting with his sixth term on council. He says he can't wait to get started again. Oh, very, 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 very great. Just, just great. And, and all the people who are here who have worked for me, and, and, and it just makes it great. I, I, even, I even have my great-grandson here tonight. So what's up next for you then? What's the most immediate challenge that you see in the Yeah, uh, the, the immediate challenge, and I, I mentioned uh, that during my campaign, that the, the uh, stick men, the Spirit of Edmonton, the Growth Committee, the Chamber of Commerce, all have to work together. And if they would just stay in the business of business, trying to promote business in the city, we'll look after the politics, just have them look after hustling, get business in the city of Edmonton. And I think that that's what the people want in the city of Edmonton. Is, is economic development, is that what you're saying? Economic said? development is the big thing. There, there, there are many unemployed people in the area, in this area, and, 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 and people want jobs. So that is what we're going to have to work now. As I see the results right now, it's going. There's going to be a, a great new group to work with. So that's going to be interesting as well. What's really interesting, Gord, is that uh, Terry Kavanaugh twice served as mayor, uh, once following the death of Bill Horlack and then following the resignation of Lawrence DeCour. So an interesting point there. All right. Well, let's uh, check in and see how the race for mayor is going right now in our city. And there you can see it. Uh, really, what a seesaw battle this is here between Jan Reimer and Bill Smith. Very close race. And uh, again, this is interesting, 18-year-old Brad Chechnita uh, ahead of Lance White this evening. Now, earlier uh, today, uh, reporter Wendy Taberge went out and spoke with John Ramsey. Here's what he had to say. Gordon Jacklin, there are a lot of people down here in the Wild Rose Room here at the Edmonton Inn. You can see that uh, the mood isn't exactly a total uh, disappointment. It doesn't seem to be feel like a loss down here. I think a lot of people were expecting Mr. Ramsey to come in the way that he did, but they're not disappointed. A lot of people that we were talking to here this evening said that they thought that it was a respectable loss, and they're really, really hoping that Mr. Ramsey is going to try again next time because they really believe that he is the man that should have won here tonight. And so for tonight, at least, the party goes on, and they're hopeful that Mr. Ramsey will run in the next election. Back to you, Gordon Jacklin. Okay, thanks very much, Wendy. We're going to go live now to Jerry Bellica, who is at Bill Smith's campaign headquarters. Jerry? Jacqueline, I'm standing with Bill Smith right now. A very, very tight race, Bill. Uh, you're not confident enough in the numbers yet to declare it a victory or a loss, but tell us a little bit about how this campaign has gone, the people who've worked with you. Well, Jerry, it's, it's like I said at the start. It would be very, very close between Smith and Reimer, and that's exactly what's unfolded. Uh, we've got 154 to 172 polls reporting. Uh, there's still a ways to go, uh, and uh, it, it, could, it could be won by either one of us. Uh, it, it's been a great race for me. It, it's been exciting for all the people here tonight. Uh, uh, we, we started out in front, and we've been, been able to uh, maintain that lead, and that certainly makes it exciting for everybody here at the, at the campaign office, but uh, it's a long ways from being over yet. Must be tough to kind of try and contain your enthusiasm until uh, the final numbers are in. Well, I've, uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm pleased that uh, the people have, have uh, given me 71,810 votes. I got 92,000 last time. Uh, if I could hit 92, it'd be great. But we'll have to see what happens. It's. Uh, I'm wondering why these some of these polls are so late coming in. Uh, and I don't, I don't there, understand. There were long lineups at some of the polls when the doors closed oh, and they had to okay. get people in. Okay. And, and, uh, my understanding was that they were going to, once you're inside the building at 8 o'clock, uh, even if it took you another hour, they would still allow you to vote, which was good. Uh, because I know in the, 90, uh, in the 92 election, uh, we ran out of uh, uh, ballots, of course, in some polls, and uh, there was some long lineups, and they didn't, I know the doors were shut. So it, it was the decision to, uh, everybody that was inside by 8 o'clock was, was a good one. Bill, thanks very much. We'll come back to you as we get further along in the numbers, and we'll be reporting back to you from the Smith headquarters throughout the evening. All right.